Okay, so on this video, we're going to go through and look at how to set up the Twilio Studio Flow so that you can forward calls and get a whisper. So it's a whisper thing that is, that is the hard thing to do without doing some extra little stuff. So we're going to show you exactly what to do. I've also put the code below this video so you can grab my code and then you'll paste it where we go, where we basically point out today um, where that needs to go. So let's go ahead and jump into um, Twilio online and I'm just going to make some assumptions here that you've already got a number and if you don't know there's plenty of YouTube videos that show you how to do that and um, then from there what we'll do is uh, just really set up the number. Okay so in here before we really before we begin what we should do is just do a little book um, a little pinning that will make it easier to get back and forth. So over here, under the little three dots that we see over here, just click on that and you'll come up with the different menus that you can select from. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here and we're going to pin, it's a little pin on the right, we're gonna pin that to our dock to make it easier. So let's select Studio, pin that one, and then come down here to Twimmo bins and pin that one and uh, let's go back up here to I think everything else is for right now is fine so let's go ahead and close out and we'll see that we have the studio here and we have the Twimmo bin here our phone numbers are here and and our exact number is right here so that's where we are right now is on the phone number so let's go ahead and start with studio and we'll click in the studio. Now I've got a I've got one created here, but we're going to start a new one. So all you have to do is hit over here, or if you the first time, it'll be a slightly different setup. But you can see where it says create a new flow, and you can create that. We're going to name this. Um, anything you want, but forward and w with whisper. So I'll know exactly what we're doing here. Now it allows you to go ahead and do a basic call forwarding, which they will go ahead and pop that in there for you. But instead of doing that, we're just going to go ahead and do it ourselves from a blank uh, flow chart here. So up here we have the trigger and we're going to have either an incoming call or an incoming message. So the first thing we'll do is look at the incoming call and uh, we'll set that up. So what we're going to do is do a, um, uh, the very first thing we're going to do is let's, let's set up the, um, because some of you might have tried, some of you might have set up the, the uh, call forwarding. So that uses a connect to call over here. So we'll drag and drop that over here and we'll go ahead and program this out with our number. All right, so we'll start with a, just like the single number here says, it starts with a plus sign and then your country code and then the number. And we'll just do a five 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 one 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 one. All right, so that will be our forwarding number. Now remember, don't put these dashes in here. So it just it should be a single number. The next question to ask yourself: Do I want to record the call? Now I do because I use this because I want to go back and review calls. So I'm always going to record these calls. And once you record the calls, then you can save it here at the bottom. If you want to rename this widget so that basically it tells us what we're doing which makes it a little bit easier forward to my cell all right so let's save it and we still haven't connected it yet so we're going to get a little warning sign here and before we connect this what we want to do is whisper when this call is made so the incoming call comes in and it connects to the the call but before it does we want it to whisper something to us so to create that we're going to use a 
another little function here called a twimmel a, or add twimmel redirect so we'll pull that off and drop it also in here and in the twimmel redirect it's basically going to first go get some code run that code and then it's going to forward down to my cell number now because we're going to use twimmel code uh, rather than use this uh, where we where you can normally just do this connect this and it's just going to forward that number that you purchase directly to the cell number and I wanted to point that out first because some of you will not want to do the whisper all right so this is how you would do it without the whisper but to do the whisper effect we're going to do everything in this one redirect all right so if that's the case let's pull this button this line back off and instead redirect it over here to the to our redirect and we're going to remove this hit the X and that takes it completely out now this will be the code that we have so far we'll also do an incoming message at the end in case somebody wants to SMS us uh, in rather than call us all right, so now what we need to do is we need to go create this twimmel and what this twimmel does is it's a piece of code and it's going to sit right here where it says over here uh, URL and uh, what we're going to do is name this as forward just to basically uh, keep everything consistent okay so now what we have to do is we have to put a URL in here now URL as you know is it says okay well there's some kind of code sitting at some place on the web somewhere and what Twilio has done is it's basically allowed you instead of having to host your own uh, website somewhere where you would normally put this code they allow you to do it now in what's called a Twimmel bin so let's go over and find the Twimmel bin now you notice that we docked that over here Twimmel bin right so let's go jump over here and open that up first of all let's look at what before we get into this let's look and see what it what exactly is a twimmel a twimmel is a few lines of simple code that can be easily updated or changed Typically, we use them for changing out phone numbers or a whisper message. Okay, great. Thank you. So, what we're going to do is create a new one. And what we've done is we've created a bin for that Twimmel code. All right, so a bin is something that is just, it's basically allowing us to set the code on their web servers. And um, then we can call it up over there in Studio the studio flow so what we need to do is just paste some code in here and this is the code that is below this video and for right now since I don't have this video up I'm going to just grab it from my notepad and I'll just overwrite this top line as well because it's already there um, now this is called a whisper code. This, the, this is what this little code here is so simple that anybody can really understand it. What it says is whatever you put in here, the system is going to say to us when we answer that cell phone. So somebody saw our number from our advertising, they called us, and now right before the system connects us, it's going to whisper where this came from. So it'll say something like this from website or whatever you want to write in here so you can you, this is where you will change for each number that you do you want to have a different uh, setup on on here like if maybe it's coming from uh, from a mailing okay or a mailing with a date so you can get very specific with exactly where this lead is coming from all right so we'll leave that for now and then we'll hit create whoops before we do we've got to name it so this one is going to be named whisper stay consistent uh, whisper so create now when we created this little code and set it on the server it's giving us a web page uh, URL to this code and that's what we have to put into um, basically what we need to 
handle. So right here, what we want to do is copy that. And then what we'll do is open back up. And just for storage, I'm just going to go ahead and paste it in here so that I can come back to it a little bit later and pick it up again. Okay. Now, this Twimble is done. Again, I'm going to save it. Once it's been saved, we can now create our second Twimmel. So we're going to so we've got to go back into the Twimmel bins up here at the top, Twimmel bins, and we're going to create. So we have one created right now called Whisper. We need to create one more, and on this one, we're going to call this one Forward. All right. So this this code will forward the and, and basically do everything that we need and connect to the whisper that we just con uh, cr uh, connected to so let's go ahead and I'm going to jump over to the other code called forward grab that code and paste it in here as well and then we can create that. So now we have our forwarding um, code. But now I want you to look at something that needs to be changed. And this is where that last URL that we just saved, right? That we got, that uh, was connected to our whisper uh, code or, or bin storage URL. That, that needs to go in here. So basically what we need to do is go back to our first one grab this code which I'll do again because this is the process you're going to do anyway all right so we've got the two we need to get this whisper URL and paste it into that to that other bin so basically because one kind of leads off the other so I'm going to copy this go go back into the other one the forwarding and right here very carefully inside the double quotation marks I'm going to go ahead and paste that code save it and that's it now what I'm going to do is go back into studio and by the way let's let's go back one more time because I mean we're pretty much done here right but but what I want to do before I get into the flow, let's go back into the bin one more time because I want to just point out one other thing I think is very important. So the whisper, of course, we already know that changes and, you know, it connects to whatever um, whatever item that you need uh, or advertising source that you need. But it's always going to forward over here to the number. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put my forwarding number in here. And save it and this number if you have more than one number you know you you would change this number out to whatever other number that you might want to receive a call on but for the most part what you're doing is is you're changing this uh, code this code uh, or this URL out right and if you want to duplicate these and make more for each number that is coming in that you want to lead to your cell number which is right here so this number normally doesn't change. That'll be your cell number. But what changes is um, this code right here because it's always going to point to a different whisper, which we just loaded up uh, in, in a Twimble bin. So uh, for, for example, let's go in here and take a look at this. So each time you make one of these, you'll need to make two more of these. So for each number or number that you want to create where you have source coming in maybe some advertising mailers or whatever you need to create two more of these for each one of those so rename them appropriately go in there and all you're going to do is shift out that URL change that out and but basically it's going to go to the same number so that doesn't change out so just your whisper code that source and let's take a look at one more time at that from mailing for example whatever it says that's what's going to change all right so let's go into studio since everything is ready now for us to run the code we're going to come in here and we're going to go back into the one we're working on, which is this one. And we'll double click it. Now we've got the URL, right? So uh, what we need here is our forwarding URL. And 
You know what? I don't know if I got that. So, what we're going to do is go back and get it again. We need that one right there. All right, so I'm going to copy that forwarding. Come back over to Studio. And click on this to highlight it again. And now we can go ahead and paste our URL in there. And then save it again down here. And what this is going to do is going to do everything we need because if you remember, it also said it would record. So in that code, um, let's see, let me pull that code up one more time. So in that code, it says record from answer. So once the party picks up or once we pick up, it's going to start recording. And so we've got a recording that's going to be now listed on here as well as whatever else so let's go ahead and test the number now that we've got that oh one other thing we've got to connect this to our number haven't done that all right so let's go up here to the number oh 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 we also did one other thing we've got to do so always remember this because sometimes you'll do this and say oh it didn't work what's going on you've got to publish it all right so let's go back in and get this published so up here the magic button publish boom And actually, before we set this up and connect it to the number, let's go ahead and just hit a incoming message as well, all right, for SMS. So this will be pretty simple. All we have to do is um, come over here to the right under messaging, grab send message, and pull that out. And what we're going to do is write a response. So let's connect this, double click it, and we can come over here and write this in. What here, Here's the thing about when you're using this system, you're gonna there uh, when the number comes in. When you go to, you're gonna grab their information, whatever they send the message. Okay, that's gonna come to your phone automatically. Boom, you open up. There it is. But when you go to answer this, it's not gonna come from the number that they have kind of you know in their head that they're dialing this this number that you this coded number. You now they're seeing a message come back from your cell phone number and they might not respond to it or whatever. So what I like to do here is just give them a heads up. I'm going to say, um, I received your message and will answer you shortly from a different phone number, my cell, my cell number. Okay, and if you want to, go ahead and type that cell number in there. That way they can, uh, you know, they can be ready for it. Because today everybody wants to hang up on uh, these robocalls. Okay, so that's it for that. Let's save it. Now we can publish again, right? All right, we've got everything set. Publish. Now let's connect our number to this. So we're going to go up here to the phone numbers. And there's different ways to get to it, but you're always kind of drilling down to where you get to this page, the active numbers. All right, so we're going to click on my number. Okay, so what we're going to do is come down to where it says voice. And in webhook, we're going to choose the Twimmel bin. Twimmel bin. And we'll look for the forward code that we put in there. Twimmel. And, uh, of course, down here, on the messaging we can go back into studio flow and select the flow that we made for that hit save I'm not going to do that right now just testing out this one number and that's it once that's been done you are ready to go and test your numbers and then again you can duplicate this again and again for each number that you have